Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the UiPath selector series. In the previous two videos of the series, we have seen what are selectors, how they are made, what are tags and attributes, how do we differentiate between reliable and non-reliable selectors, and all of this we have seen with a step-by-step -step demonstration. Post that we have seen all the buttons which are available in UiPath Explorer, such as validate, indicate element, highlight, framework, so all of this video is available on the channel i'll put the link in the description and you can refer that and in case you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel now let us see the agenda for this video in this video we are going to discuss about the property explorer when i say property explorer we are talking about the guy which is highlighted in red and it's located in the ui explorer so today we are going to see what are the scenarios and usage of the property explorer with uipath studio before directly jumping to the demonstration in uipath studio let us see what exactly is a property explorer in case of selectors so property explorer is a functionality of ui explorer that displays all the attributes of a certain UI element including those that are not displayed in the selector like position, visibility and inner text. Now let us see where exactly is this windows available. So in the previous video we have seen how we can use the UI explorer. We are going to explore the same in this series also. So whenever we open the UI explorer see at the bottom we see something called a property explorer the one which is highlighted. So in this video we are going to see how we can utilize all these properties and what are the details which are available and what would be the scenarios when we have to use the property explorer. I am in my UiPath studio so the first thing first how do we open the UI explorer in the top we see something called UI explorer I click here and it will open the UI explorer for me let us just wait for the UI explorer to fire up so this is how this window look like so in the previous video we have explored all of these details how is the selector editor we have explored all of these buttons one by one in case you haven't watched it I'll put the links in the description and you can refer that in this video we are going to explore the property explorer so to uh, explore this guy what we want to do is i have a website open in front of me which is this one okay so i have open amazon in front of me and assuming that i want to read this number of stars so if you will see uh, if i just ask you as a human that how many stars you see so you will say i am seeing 4.6 out of 5 right so but if i want to let's say if I want to just get all the stars so it would be difficult for me to get the ratings because whenever I hover it is just coming inside right so now we can do it by different approaches but some of the complex automation how this property explorer can be useful that we are going to see so let me go ahead and open the UI explorer I will indicate the element I will I will just point it to this guy okay so now as soon as I point it you will see all these widgets are already filled the UI path has selected some of the attributes for me it has selected the top item and the selectors now if you just notice here in the property explorer we see all of these details right so now this selector is uniquely able to identify I can use the highlight button and we see that the item is getting highlighted that means this selector is valid now if you will see on the left hand side there are properties where this value is also set for example this value is already set in the text field the inner text would be there see the outer text is also set with this value now we if I just scroll up you will see the a name is also with set with this value and also the inner text and the inner HTML is also set now if I want to get this value out of this selector how can I do that so what I will do is I will just use the same thing so I will just sorry my bad so I will just click minimize here I again go back to UiPath studio and the first activity we are going to use is the get attribute so if I type here attributes you will see these are the properties which are uh, provided by UiPath and which all we can use right so let me just go ahead and use the get attribute property so what this get attribute property does it gets me all the list which are available in the property explorer so let us see how we can use that so let me just go ahead and indicate on the screen I will again go back to the same web page and navigate it to the stars 
now as soon as I navigate it to the stars it will load all these attributes in the UiPath studio so for example as of now we wanted to get the number of stars so we have seen the details are available in the inner text right so what I can do is I can go back to the UiPath studio and from here I will select the inner text let me just type and I will just select the inner text okay now what when I select the inner text I have to select the variable so let me go to the result I will hit Control plus K and I will create a variable called result okay so that will store the details in this variable so if you will see this is a type of uh, the out argument and if you will see the input the input type will be the selector and this is the same selector which we have seen in the UI Explorer so if you are if you have to use the get attribute activity you should be knowing that which attribute is set by which thing right so that's why we are using the property explorer let us see that thing in working so I will just use a message box and in the message box let me just print the result okay dot to string okay and now let us try to run this file so what the, what is the expectation when I ever I run this file I should be able to get the star ratings right so let me go ahead and run the file okay so as you can see I was successfully able to get 4.6 out of 5 stars now assuming that we are writing one more automation and we require the URL of this entire thing right so if you will see the selector is not having the URL but if I go to the inner properties you will see somewhere we should have the URL also right because we are using the HTML thing so we should have the URL so this is the URL and this is in which property URL property let us go back to the automation and now just change this inner HTML to URL in the, sorry I can just directly type here URL okay let us save everything and run the file okay and we are successfully able to get the URL in the message box right so in the similar in the similar way you can use the property explorer to get all the details and then you can use the activity called get attribute and you can get this list and then you can use in the subsequent part of the automation let me go ahead and show one more example of the property UiPath property explorer where exactly it can be useful so I am in the web page of W3 school and I have a test string UiPath property explorer which is visible to me okay let me go back to the UiPath explorer I will go here and click on UiPath explorer and let us see what exactly are the scenarios when this wizard will be extremely helpful okay so as of now my all visits are blank let me go to indicate element and click on this item test string property explorer okay so now UiPath has given me a selector this validate button is green that means UiPath was correctly able to identify the element if I click on the highlight so UiPath is highlighting that element for me okay pretty good right now let me do a small change I will again go back to the here and let me just change the visibility of this guy to hidden okay now let us run the file and the item is hidden now if I go back to UiPath Explorer and if I ask UiPath is the selector valid okay UiPath will say yes the selector is valid because we have not specified anywhere the hidden or should be true or false right and if I ask UiPath to highlight it will again highlight now in this scenarios how we can exactly make use of the property explorer now if I just revert everything and I will just make it to visible again okay run okay so now if I click on validate you will see this is generated along with the selector right so there is a property which is called relative visibility so the relative visibility is true right now if I go here and if I change it to hidden okay and run the file now the element is hidden if I again revalidate now in case of hidden the relative visibility is false now in my UiPath studio what we can do is we can leverage that property to see whether the element is visible or not and then we can make a decision that what have what we have to do in further part of the automation so same activity I will use get attribute okay we'll indicate it on the element let me just indicate okay before that let me just make it visible again because we have hidden it so 
uh, I am not able to get the exact position so let me make it visible I will go back to my UiPath studio indicate on screen go back again here and indicate the item okay so now it will ask me which is the attribute we are looking for right so we are looking for relative visibility okay now UiPath will ask me okay I will check this element and where exactly you want to store so I will create an output variable in the result and I will say it output of where okay now the variable is created for me let me just go ahead and check yes the variable is created for me now based on this attribute we can decide whether the element is visible or not so let me go ahead and uh, take a right line and we will try to print the element okay so output where okay so let us do one thing we will instead of it we will just take a message box and see exactly what is happening so what was the variable output where okay now if I go here the visibility is true okay so once UI path is running I should get a true in the message box okay so let me go here and run the file okay I have encountered an exception okay because this variable we are getting is a type of boolean because we have seen in the property explorer that the value which we are getting is true and false and true and false are accommodated best by boolean let me change it to boolean okay let me save everything go here and run the file okay so the visibility is coming as true okay so now let us do one thing let us go back here change the visibility to hidden and I will just make the element to hidden I will go back to your watch studio and again run the file now the visibility is hidden so the relative visibility is giving me false right so now based on this attribute I can always use a if activity and we can always check if this where is true or false and then we can decide what we have to do in the further part of the automation I hope now you are clear with the get attribute activity and how to use property explorer with it okay so I will wrap this video here in the next part of this video we are going to see the set attribute and the weight attribute activity thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation